na mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya masaa haya ya neema ambayo yametupa ili kwamba tukaweze kumwabudu haleluya uh, si kwa sababu ya mema tuliyoyatenda Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse number 4 inasema si kwa sababu wewe ni mtakatifu ndio maana umepokea ushindi ni kwa sababu ya hadi yangu niliyoifanya Bwana Yesu asifiwe So I'm here today because he promised a good life for me Hallelujah I'm here because he promised health Hallelujah wengine wako hospitalini I'm here today in your presence speaking to you because of his promise hallelujah there is nothing that we have done that deserve by night deserve sisi tuwe to make it hapa tukiwa wa afya ni kwa sababu tu ya ahadi zake yeye huwa anafuatilia ahadi zake na kusitimiza hallelujah ndio sababu leo hii nina furaha kusema kwamba ninasimama kwa sababu ya ahadi yake nina nena mbele yenu ni kwa sababu ya ahadi yake aliyoitoa praise the lord ningependa uh, tuende katika mafundisho ya siku ya leo the weapon of warfare siraha ambazo tunahitaji kutumia katika vita vetu ninajua watu wengi ulimwenguni kote wametengeneza kila kundi wameungana ili kwamba kutafuta amani mbona unatafuta amani because amani patikana the opposite of peace is the battle hallelujah genesis 3 verse 15 kwa majira haya lazima tuchifundishe ni silaha zipi ambazo afa tuwe nazo in the time of war bwana yesu asifiwe baada ya kuanguka mwanadamu kuanguka bila nasema kwamba naye mungu akasema maneno haya ukimpata utamponda kichwa naye akikupata atakuuma kizigino kumaanisha vita ikaanzia pale aliyetangaza vita ni Mungu mwenyewe wapendwa katika majira haya we are in the warfare haleluya we are in the warfare and because we are in the warfare wakati umefika ili kwamba tutambue ni aina gani ya silaha ambazo yafaa tutumie ili kwamba tukahesabike kuwa washindi yes umesoma biblia vizuri ukapata nasema kwamba mimi ni saidi ya washindi yes lakini you cannot be a victor mbako jue silaha ambazo yafaa utumie allow me to use this word ni upumbafu mwingi wakati ambapo ukwako kwa nyumba umepata kuna mosquito Haleluya. Yes ni adui. Alafu unaenda unachukua AK47 unaenda kupigana na mosquito. I'm telling you utaonekana kijaa. Until you hold the right weapon. Hello. Uh, the right weapon that can kill mosquito that is when you will become the right victor. Kila warfare ina silaha zake. Haleluya. Kila aina ya vita ina zila alisi kwa sababu ya hiyo that is why leo hii kanishani because we in the warfare until we know the right weapon to use we cannot become the part of the victor that the bible talks about that is why today leo hii katika siku ya leo nataka tujifunze tujue kwamba number one, we must be clear there is warfare hallelujah and where did the warfare begin we have read God himself announced there is a war for between man and the devil that serpent hallelujah the bible say god himself said and from today we were okipatwa na huyu nyoka atakuuma kizigino na kwa sababu nimeweka uadui basi uadui inamaanisha vita imeanza you cannot be friendly with your enemy ah uh-uh. ah Uwezi kuwa rafiki na adui wako haleluya kama kuna adui then maanisha kuna vita haleluya akasema sio mwingine aliyeleta wadui lakini Mungu mwenyewe ameleta wadui na kwa sababu ameleta wadui amenieusha na kuniambia wake up there is a warfare licha kwamba umeokoka unanena na ndimi wacha nikutangazie there is a warfare that you must be able to win so that you become a victor whether you are anointed you speak the word of god until the demons respect and inaitikia i want to kuhakikishia 
there is a warfare that you must be enter into it and it was not started by human being it was started by god himself so that is why i need to wake up and be sober carry the weapon so that i cannot be a victim of the enemy that has been created by god himself hallelujah so you are in that situation because number one god allowed it hello na lakini nemi yeye ni mwaminifu sana akanipatia siraha za kutumika shetani anaogopa silaha anakufanya ili kwamba usikatumie hizo silaha haleluya kwa sababu ukitumia atakuwa in danger ah ah hello praise the lord yeye ni kukufanya usitumie hizo silaha leo hii nataka tuse unfold silaha hizo na tuangalie kutoka kwa biblia ni gani nitatumia wakati gani let me tell you watu wengine tumefika mahali tumelia sana kwa sababu ya vita mpaka tuka machozi kafunika macho kiwango kwamba atuoni katika chumba cha silaha kuna silaha tunaweza tumia kutoka hapo tutoke ndani ya hiyo vita tukiwa washindi Second Kings chapter number 14. Yohashi ambaye alikuwa ni mfalme, hakuwa mfalme mwema. Hakufanya mema mbele za Mungu. Lakini kwa sababu amesikia kuna hatari. Amesikia adui wamejikusanya ni kwa sababu ya kuja kupambana na yeye. Akaenda kuangalia, akaona kwamba awezi tena. Biblia inasema kwamba akateremka kwa Elisha. Sasa anakumbuka Elisha wakati ambapo mambo yameharibika. Hallelujah. Kuna watu kanisani wasipokuwa na hali they cannot remember to come to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Sio yo sio huyu mfalme alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa amejipanda katika maneno ya Mungu. Hapana. Lakini kwa sababu amesikia kuna hatari. Let me tell you, wakati mwingine katika maisha hali zinakuja ambazo zinasababisha you come closer to God zisipokuwa hivyo you cannot come closer to god hapa huyu mfalme kwa sababu ya yale ambayo na katika ukisoma kutoka juu aliingia ndani ya maono akaona vile anatekwa nyara vile anafika mahali pa kufungwa atakaoona maono kwamba vile atakufa akawa na uoga akaingiwa na mtetemeko alipokufika mahali pa kutetemeka bebele inasema akateremka akaenda kwa elisha Bila sema alikuwa kwa ugonjwa ambao ulikuwa unasababisha kifo chake. Alipofika pale, Biblia inaniambia kwamba alipofika pale, inaniambia kwamba akalia na akalia sana na akafika kwa mfalme akasema baba baba akamwambia wewe ni akampatia majina mazuri farasi wa Israeli. Mpanda farasi wa Israeli. Alipomwita haya majina mimi ninaongalia huyu mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye alikanisha ana alipoangalia huyu mfalme akiwa amelia sana amelia machozi natoka okay huyu mfalme alikuwa anatarajia kwamba Elisha angemwambia angechukua handkerchief ampanguze machozi haleluya amhurumie haleluya na huyu mfalme ukimwangalia vizuri hajakuja ni kwa sababu ana, anaona kwamba waisraeli wanakufa Achakuja ni kwa sababu anachoa Elisha anaweza kufa kwa vita. Amekuja kwa sababu yeye sababu zake za kibinafsi. Haleluya. Ni yeye ameona anaweza kufa, anakuja kwa sababu yake kibinafsi. Let me tell you. Alipofika pale mimi nasema kwamba Elisha akamwambia jambo moja, wewe chukua mshare na uta. Take it, the bow and the arrow. Ichukue hiyo ukuje alafu so wakati alikuwa anatarajia kwamba huyu mtu ambaye anaitwa amaitwa Elisha atamhurumia mwambie oh pole chukua andika jiva mpanguze machozi ampanguze machozi wengine wetu tunapoenda kwa wachungaji wakati mwingine unaenda kuhurumia haleluya wakati wa kuhurumia umefika mwisho haleluya we are in the warfare Haleluya. Wakati wa kurumiwa umefika mwisho. Haleluya. Ukicha hapa, I want to just tell us today. If you are not ready to change your personality. Haleluya. Kama uko tayari kubadilisha tabia na mwenendo yako, I'm telling you, hata nikikurumia leo hii, you will be in that situation tomorrow. Akamwambia pana leo hii sitakurumia sitakwambia panguse machozi kile nitakwambia I know this is the time of the warfare take the bow take 
strike the arrow. First Corinthians chapter number 12. Four, to answer four, up four. But again, ukisoma from 12. Hallelujah. Mbaka ufike chapter 14. Iyo yote inasungumza juu ya silaha ambayo mungu wa meajiria ili kwamba wewe mwanadamu mibi kama kanisha ni katumie in the case there is a warfare that I'm facing. Hallelujah. There is a list of the gifts of the spirit that I'm being given. Hallelujah. These are the weapon that we must be able to use in our battle today. Word of wisdom, the knowledge, we have prophecy, we have interpreting tongues, the spirit of tongues. Are you getting it? All those particular we were given to counter the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Kuna hii moja unasema the healing. The Bible is very clear. Ukisoma from chapter number 12 to number 14, utagunua what kind of the weapon that the heaven has given us that we can be able to use during our warfare. Everybody lying dead in the grave passed to the doctor. Hallelujah. Kila mtu alie kufa, majority wengi walipitia mikono ya madaktari. Na kwa sababu walifika wakava, tumefungo hospitali. Hello? Have we closed the hospital? This is the lie of the devil. That because it didn't happen to somebody, now Anna could block from exercising that particular weapon of healing for the glory and of his honor. Hallelujah. Iki wanadamu, wote, karibu wote, asilimia tisaini na nane, ya watu wote ambao, wako kwa makaburi leo hii, walipitia mikono ya madaktari. But still, katika manifesto ate ya wanasiasa leo hii, kile wanasema kwamba, tutajenga mahospitali mingi, tutaandika madaktari wengi, leo hii ndivyo wanavo sema, basi kama, sisi, atuwezi atuchafunga mada kwa, kwa ma hospitali kwa sababu watu wamezikwa why today if we prayed to somebody and it was the will of god that pass, that person rest we did know the weapon of god that is healing hallelujah i've told you the gift of god and his calling is irrevocable that is the version 610 hallelujah it is not in work. So kama mimi leo hindi yes mama apa. Ni mepewa ki power ja uponyaji. Ni sipo itumia inakuwa kwa store. Inapuwa fumbi pale. Ah ah. Hello. Kama ni mepewa ki power ja interpretation of the terms. And I'm not exercising it. Because kitu kimekua kigumu katika majira haya. Ni kujua majira inaenda na mnagani. Hata alisema, mnajua kuangalia kati vile anga inaonekana na mnatabiri vile weather itakuwa. Lakini mumeshindua, nini kutambua majira tulio ndayo katika spirit. Hallelujah. We cannot interpret very well. We don't know when. Wakati COVID ilikuja, watu walisema manano mengi. Watu walinterpret manano mengi. Let me tell you, because we cannot be able... Hako wapi ambaye aliyeweka kipawa chake kwa store akitumi leo hii. Leo hii anasema kwamba kwa sababu my gift is not irrevocable. My calling cannot be irrevocable. Hallelujah. That is Ephesians 6.10. Ndiyo sababu leo tumekuja kukumusana. Angalia uliangukia wapi. Go and pick it and start from there. God nisame. Hallelujah. Pick it from where you left. Hallelujah. Uyo mtu anaye ito mfalme ambayo tumesoma. Ni warrior ambako trained. Na ni mfalme ako na mahali ambapo. Kuna mahali tunaitanga kwa kingeresa aseno. Mahali wanaweka silaha zote. Padale ya kuenda chukui silaha. Kwa pambana na madui. Amekuja kwa Elisha na Lia. Hallelujah. Elisha na muambia chukua mkuki. Chukua bao. Chukua na arrows. Kumanisha anamambia. Go to the store. Go to where you left the weapon. You have the ability. Go there and pick the arrow and the bow so that you can be able to face the enemy. Wakati wakijurumia kanisani umekwisha. Please, wachungaji, let us not pamper the Christian today. Make them to be hard enough to face the situation. 
Haleluya. Don't pamba them. Hii maneno ya kuja kukupamba na kukupaka mafuta umefika mwisho wakati huo. We must be aware that we are in the warfare na lazima tuinuke tupepe silaha mahali tuliziacha. Haleluya. The, the, the weapon of prophecy. Haleluya. And let can I tell you we don't prophesy because we prophesy. You know where I've read mali nimesoma bila sema kwamba alisema alimwambia fungua dirisha you cannot shoot when the door when the window is closed anisikize vizuri always shoot ikiwa dirisha imefungwa akamwambia nisikize vizuri unapoingia katika chumba cha hicho silaha ambayo ya kwanza amesema ni uta na 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 how call it mushare haleluya unapoingia pale kile utafanya kwanza fungua dirisha create an opportunity how do you create an opportunity creating an opportunity is listening to the spirit Hello. so i'm not going to prophesy because i've seen my brother prophesy i listen to the spirit so that I, from the spirit i can know exactly what i'm supposed to do ignore the arrangement of the world ignore how it is done ignore the tradition hata kanisani tumefika mahali we are buying it from the tradition again at hii mkapangilio huu at usipoketi hivi usipoweka hii hivi let me tell you that is not the working of god hallelujah god work differently hallelujah anasema kwamba ignore the arrangement of the world create an opportunity leo we create an opportunity don't wait for us to tell you come to the service hallelujah from monday to friday you can create one even if you are alone hello uh, uh, create oh, fungua dirisha dirisha yako utaifungua kuwa katika uwepo wa Mungu kuanzia sasa na kuendelea don't wait until tutangaze kuna ushirika ndio kuja kwa ushirika you create your own open your window Hello. If you cannot open your window, the enemy will kill you. The enemy atakukandamisha. The enemy wa huduma yako hako choncho. Hallelujah. Because yeye ajalala bado anajua wakati wake umeisha. Na kama kuna mtu anajua wakati umeisha, ni adui wako shetani anajua wakati umeisha. Ananana alali. We lala. Haleluya. Akamwambia open the window. Leo hii nimekuja kukutangazia open your window. Create your opportunity with God. Create your opportunity with the Holy Spirit. If you want your singing to touch heaven and heal people, create an opportunity with God. Haleluya. Fungua dirisha. You cannot be able to use your weapon when your window is closed. Haleluya hautaweza kutenda kama uta create that opportunity leo hii hakuwapi atakai tangulia hapa six ni kwa sababu ako peke yake alafu atengeneze fursa ya kuwa na Mungu afungue hiyo afungue hiyo opportunity and then you see what god will do ah uh-uh. hello what god will do create an opportunity praise the lord kwa hivyo hizo zilaha Let me tell you when God call everybody na staki mtu out of a confuse him kuna fruit of the holy spirit na kuna gift of the holy spirit Hallelujah gift are not fruit Hallelujah tukubaliane love ni patience hiyo ni matunda hiyo sio kipawa so kila mwanadamu aliye kumbwa na Mungu ana kipawa ndani yake. Haleluya. Na hicho kipawa so we are weak the way we are in this church because somebody somewhere alitup, aliweka kipawa chake kinakaliwa na fumbi. Hello. And we will learn to be stronger and stronger if every one of us atagundua sila aliyopeba. Haleluya. Na itumie vile anavyotakikana. Heaven will come down and the victory will be on our side. Hallelujah. The weapon of our warfare. Hallelujah.
that is the topic that we are dealing with wale wameingia sasa haleluya biblia nasema pale kwamba alipomwambia fungua dirisha akamwambia biblia nasema kwamba hakumwambia shoot aha mbona akumwambia shoot direct alichukua mkono wa Elisha akaweka juu ya mkono wa mfalme haleluya so it is not you to do it it is not you to do it ni mkono wa Bwana ukiwa juu yako you will get victory kama hautahusisha Mungu Elisha anaashiria ana, Mungu mwenyewe alipoleta mkono akaweka juu yake na alipoweka mkono juu yake Biblia nasema kwamba the target now was established haleluya akaweka mkono si wewe Elisha akachukua mkono wake na akaweka juu ya mkono wa huyu mfalme na alipoweka mkono juu ya mfalme hakikisho la ushindi ikatangazwa hiyo ndoa unayengangana kupigana vita ndani yake kama mkono wa Mungu yuko juu yake you cannot make it hiyo huduma ambayo imekuteza kwa muda mwingi watezi wamekuwa ni wengi namna hii let me tell you watezi wako ili kwamba you are victor to be great lakini mkono wa Mungu kiwa juu yake haleluya hiyo uimbaji wako ambayo hata kila mara unaposimama unapata upinzani let me tell you mkono wa Mungu kiwa juu yake your victory is guaranteed Haleluya. Akaweka mkono juu yake. Let me tell you, your gift will work if there is God, if God is involved. Kipawa chako kitakuwa silaha kali kwa adui ikiwa kwamba Mungu ako involved. Haleluya. I can be able to have a word of wisdom, but my word of wisdom become useless because God is not involved. I can be a very good in prophesy the word of God but if I cannot be able to have the hand of God in it useless. Hallelujah. I can be able to have the gift of healing but that gift of healing will be useless if the hand of God is not in. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Akamwambia fungua, akipofungua, akachukua mshale, akachukua mkono wake akaweka juu yake. Alafu akamwambia shoot. Haleluya. Akumwambia lenga. Haleluya. Ah uh-uh. ah. Akumwambia lenga. Kazi ya kulenga sio yako. Kazi yako ni kutii. Shoot. Ah uh-uh. ah. Haleluya. Kazi yako ni kutii. Shoot. Hata akikuambia weka pande hii, shoot. Mungu ndiye anajua kulenga sio wewe. I've come to teach the word of God this morning. I've not come to tell God how to how in mimi nimekuja mwenye itaguza Mungu ni anajua. Huenda sitawahubiria wote, sitawafundisha wote. Hallelujah. But I'm very sure because instructed me to come and shoot. I'm shooting. Ah ah lo. I'm shooting. Ji ataipeleka mpaka ifike ndani ya moyo wako yeye ndiye anajua. Yeye ndiye anajua. Mimi I don't know it. Hallelujah. Kazi yangu ni kutii. Hallelujah. Alimwambia shoot. The word of God is able to go dire- or to be directed by God himself to the target. Kazi yangu si kujiuliza watakuja ama watakuja kanisani. I'm there to shoot. Ah uh-uh. ah. I'm there to shoot because he said shoot. Hallelujah. Alipomwambia shoot, aka shoot and that one shooting gave him the victory. Hallelujah. Ikamaliza maadui wote. Hallelujah. Leo hii nimekuja kutangaza katika transforming grace. Hallelujah. Nisikise mtoto wa Mungu ambao umekuja katika ibada siku ya leo. Everybody has a gift and that gift it is not working for us because of intimidation at the enemy that brings so that you cannot be able to use your weapon adui anajua ataleta intimidation hallelujah mulimwombea akupona hallelujah kuponya sio kazi yangu ni kazi yake 
akitaka kufuna vile atafuna I will not instruct vile afanye my work is I shoot na vile ilienda I don't want to know nilitangaza hapo kwanza nikasema kwamba mimi kama ingekuwa basi ni kufunga mahali ambapo hakutatenda vizuri ma hospitali zote zikuwa closed by now because 98% ya wagonjwa walipitia hospitalini walikufa na kama walikufa na tunajenga zingine kumaanisha kwamba why today that the devil anakudanganya because it was not able to happen the way men wanted uh, uh, we are not going to act it, it so that it happened the way it please you sometimes tukihubiri hapa atubiri tukufurahishe wakati mwingine it can be very hard to you Hallelujah. It can be very hard. Hata unaweza toko umekuasika sana. Like let me tell you, kuasika na uende mbinguni. I glorify the God. Asawa. Kuasika lakini ufanye nini? Uende mbinguni. Hallelujah. Mwingine akasema kwamba pastor ananiubi. Let me tell you, wewe you are the wrong place. Biblia inasema endeni kote kote mkawahubiri. Ah uh ah. -uh. If we can we not preach against prostitution. What do you want us to preach? Na kama wewe nimehubiri about prostitution imekushika usiseme thank god Mungu leo umeamua kwamba kuninenea ili kwamba nikaingie mahali pazuri. Haleluya. Ah ah wakati wa kupamba kanisa umeenda. Pampering Christian umeisha. <laughs> Wapaka tu he ndio ukuje. Okay. Let me tell you one thing. It is better you be away when uone mbingu kadi kuliko kuwa hapa uzione mbingu. Haleluya. Elish huyu mtumishi mlelisha wakati mfalme anakuja analia kwanza anamsifa anamwambia baba baba we mpanda farasi wa Israeli anampamba akafikiria atamwambia atamwambia ah mwanangu umeniita vizuri nataka nikupanguze by the way the time wa utungaji tunachukua ku cancel watu ambao wataka kubadilisha tabia zao umefika mwisho don't cancel that person because kama ataki kubadilika abadilike aende mbinguni aachana naye mwambie wewe unakufa because okay okay for God's sake let us be realistic hakumwambia kwamba ninaona umeteseka sana wengine wao they are very selfish when they come for counseling they are very selfish hakuja kwa sababu alipenda waisraeli hakuja kwa sababu alipenda elisha alikuja ni kwa sababu ameota kwa maona akaona kwamba akitekwa nyara akiuawa sasa ameogopa anakuja kwa mambo yake binafsi i take three hours kutnena na mtu ambaye na ubinafsi para ningetumia kuokoa nafsi we are not going to continue doing that elisha hakuchukua muda ya kumwambia ilikuwaache ilikuwaache alimwambia wewe wewe ni mfalme enda kwa penye zilaa ziko pick chukua mishale chukua nauta enda fanya vile unataka kufanyika haleluya if you don't allow everybody as a gift leo hii ukija mimi nimeamua na nataka kusema hivi even in a case i'll get somebody and i'm going to send number 1 number 1 what is your gift haleluya uliacha gift yako wapi go and pick the gift and start the journey god will use the gift to fight what is fighting you haleluya hiyo gift amekupatia ndio mungu ataitumia ku fight ku fight wale wana fight na wewe haleluya but if you are not using it please wajungaji our delicious time our wonderful time our sacred time is misused by sitting with somebody for five hours na huyu mtu ambaye unachezi na five hours usherati wake hataki kuacha ah uh -uh. you are wasting your time you could have done different thing haleluya atutachukua muda mwingi kukuhurumia if you want to take mimi kile naomba ni kwamba kubali basi ukabadilishe your personality hallelujah ili utakapobadilisha personality and uwaadue kwamba i want to use let me tell you kuna wengine hata kanisani leo hii we don't know our gift hallelujah na one of the best time i'll come mungu akipa nikipa neema nifundishe the difference between a talent and a gift Haleluya. Watu wamebadilisha wanafikiria talanta ni vipawa. Hapana, hapana. A gift sinakuta wakati ambapo umeokeka na umepokea roho. 
we kama uchapokea roho ulitoa wapi vipawa vya roho mtakatifu ulitoa wapi asipo haleluya so our secular wanaimba vizuri aimanishi wana gift that's not gift that's a talent haleluya talent is not a gift tusilete na to confuse talent kwa madhabahu na gift haleluya if somebody cannot be able to pray cannot seek god alafu unasema ana kipawa cha uimbaji alitoa wapi ah ah niambia alitoa wapi alitoa wapi na because kipawa inakuja na roho huyu mtu atombi afundishi kineno na ndio sababu tuko na wengine kanisani wako na talent ukiwakimba wakimaliza wakati neno limeanza ako nje haleluya ni mwimbaji mzuri pia anaimba lakini ako hii ako nje why hiyo ni talanta we confuse it kwa kanisa tukaita kipawa haleluya praise the lord so the weapon that we have today is the gift what is your gift na nataka kanisa ninapojaribu malizia nikisema hivi leo hii anybody who will not understand and discover the gift that person atashindwa milele victory is not your part right the warfare unapitia leo hii it is because you have not used your weapon well wacha kusumbua mchungaji alisha kutaka kusumbuka na ye alimwambia unajua nini si wewe umesikia wanakuja ni maadui ni wengi wana uzito ni, ni wakali kabisa fanya hivi enda penye uliweka mshari enda penye uliweka uta kwanza kuja nayo alipokuja naye akamwambia kumbuka lazima ufungue mlango kama kuna watu nisikize vizuri haleluya au tafunguliwa mlango dirisha haleluya a a mtu anipata vizuri kama kama unakuja hapa kila siku unasema mimi hawajai nipatia nafasi hawajai nipa wewe sikiza nikwambie leo hii hakuna atakaye kufungulia dirisha tufungulie dirisha yako haleluya fungua dirisha yako elisha elisha akamwambia sasa ka hapo nikufungulie dirisha a a alimwambia fungua nini fungua dirisha ati mimi wanipatie kwa nafasi niimbe wewe kuja hapo mapema pata nafasi yako fungua dirisha yako imbia Mungu wako hii manunguniko ishi kanisani tuende biguni haleluya hawatai nipatie kwa mimi a a okay tunatafutanga mtu wa katikati ya wiki atakapokuja hapa afundishe aupo hello create your own opportunity you have haleluya and when you all create your own opportunity the chances of listening to what the spirit say inakuwa hai akasikiza akasikiza vizuri vile Elisha anasema Elisha anasema fungua dirisha chukua mshale usiposikiza kutoka kwa roho haleluya you will shoot a miss haleluya all right we do not prophesy nilisema we do not prophesy because other people are, you know prophecy is the word that come from the mind of god now that god is trusting on your mouth right the mind is god is but the mouth is you hallelujah anakuaminia kwa kinywa chako ukatamke so if you cannot listen to the mind what are you prophesy i've had people saying can i prophesy am i the one to tell you to prophesy ngoja Hello, mmesikia mtu akisema can I prophesy? Sikiza, nisikize vizuri. Are you prophesying my word or you are prophesying the word of God? In fact, the one you are supposed to ask to whether you can prophesy is God because you are using the mind, mind of God. God, is it the right time for me to prophesy? Akwambie yes, ndio, you do it. Sasa nimekuja kumwambia ndugu, can I prophesy? Amen. Wengine muta. Like that is the fact. All right. So we are prophesying. So that prophecy will be a prophecy at kwa sababu one of the best time you said it and after saying it 
God did its own will na akafanya ikaonekana kinyume today wish mama ukatende ukanene let me tell you child of god that is like the devil is trying to bring aspect wacha kutumia hiyo tool so that the whole world cannot receive that word of prophecy atutafumbwa the devil knows the weapon is very strong and can, he cannot withstand it kila atafanya ni kuhakikisha you don't use it alete discouragement ninakuja leo hii nangangana kufundisha na fundisha mtu anakuja mimi anasema ha yule mtu ha yule inanifikia anasema hata mimi kwa leo ah siwezi enda kufundisha hiyo siwezi enda kufundisha thank you let me tell you wewe unapoteza haleluya that is what the devil wanted na ame succeed kufanya hivyo let us not help the devil haleluya so for me to be able to win the battles the warfare that is ahead of me kuna warfare sa kijamii kuna levels of warfare kuna warfare sa kijamii penye ninatoka that i need to know how to fight them the weapon of fighting the warfare of my generation is not the weapon i'll use to fight the warfare of the church kanisa ina warfare right ndoa ina warfare ndoa yako kibinafsi ina warfare kuna warfare iko kwa watoto wako haleluya sasa ya kijamii ndiko mzito kiwango kwamba now you are fighting a double war kuna ya mke alright generation ya mke na ya mimi haleluya pot combined haleluya until we realize the weapon haleluya the weapon wamama kuna weapon nyingine inaitwa anga kunyamaza wakati unahitajika kunyamaza hello a a tunakutsbalana kuna wakati mwingine inabidi there is a part, particular kuna mchungaji mmoja akawa anakujiwa na mama mmoja kanisani anamwambia kwamba kila siku utunatoka ushirika nikienda mume wangu ananichapa kila siku ananichapa kila hata wakati nimeomba sana ananichapa akamwambia akikumuliza akikuchapa unafanyanga nini sina mimi ninajaribu kumuongelesha akamwambia leo ukitoka hapa kabla hataingia enda uchote maji na hii maji ukichota utase tu kwa mdomo na usimeze na usimwage akaenda akachukua maji akajua maji ikiwa kwa mdomo umwagi na umezi hawezi ongea huyu akaleta amenyamaza akaona ah naongelesha na mtu waelewi akaenda hakuchapo hiyo siko kesha akaenda akamwambia unajua vile uliniambia haku nichapa mbona unajua mbona hakuchapa ulikuwa na maji na huku ongea kuanzia leo usiongee haleluya kuna warfare zingine haleluya every warfare has its own way that is now the word of wisdom uh, can we employ the word of wisdom uh, sometimes can we employ the word of wisdom so that we can be able to win this battle that we're facing that is the word of wisdom hallelujah so if we cannot employ that and the word of wisdom is the gift hallelujah is the gift which is a which is a weapon that god has given us as a church praise the lord today ningependa kukutangazia ambaye umepata fursa ya kuingia leo kwamba there is warfare ukatae kubali the reality nilete reality nilihubiriwa mara ya kwanza nikaambiwa kwa Yesu kuna amani kwa Yesu hakuna kuteseka kwa Yesu ah yote iko pesa utapata we we wacha nifike kwa Yesu he he Halo Halo Atukiokoka na unaonana na malaika kila siku the warfare is there ilitangazwa Angekuwa aggressive angeshida mara tatu mimi nasema kwamba huyu mfalme alishinda tu mara tatu ingine akaanza kushindwa haleluya let me tell you nataka kusema hivi nikimalizia right the anointing of yesterday cannot break the yoke of today Ha. Maubiri ya last year ukiyafanya leo hii hayatakuwa na impact leo. 
Ah ah. Bwana asifiwe. Hii ni kumaanisha nini? Nisikize. Nikiwa mchungaji ambaye ninaenda kwa TV. Ninasikiza tu ujumbe ule wa TV. Nina duplicate ninaleta kwa kanisa. Can I tell you the way it worked there? It will not work here. Ah ah. Hello. That's why I need to sit with my Bible. Hallelujah. I get the revelation of this today. It will create impact of today. Hallelujah. Licha kwa madilisimama last week na nikaubiri vizuri watu wakaokoka wakafunguliwa. I manage nikisimama leo. Kama zijaenda for refilling. It will happen today. Hallelujah. It will happen today. Hallelujah. So today I'm asking all of us. Maali uliacha kipawa chako. Aki kutolewa. Hallelujah. Aki kuandolewa. Tumesema version 16 na sema namna gani? The gift of God is not revocable. Alright. It is there. Leo hii kila mtu agundue. Arudi mahali aliacha. It is there waiting for you. Carry it on. Serve God with it. And you will win all the battle that come on your way. So the only surest way. The only good counseling that we can give children of God is go back. Rudia. Bina sema kwa ma angalia malu liangukia. Nuka tena. And after kui nuka. Tell God. Bwana leo hini naomba musema kwa kuwacha kipawa mda uwote. I want to serve you once more. I want to serve you once more. And God who is faithful. And yes you mean baka kumpe tena chukwe anasema akikupatia kipawa awesi chukua tena. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ninapomalizia nasema hivi. The battle I'm facing today nimegundua mimi. I have the solution. Pastor, pastor is to guide me. Pastor is to tell me on how I will allow God to intervene. But the solution lies within me. I'm the solution. Ilo napitia leo hii, you have the solution. And because you have the solution, today, kwa hali ya kuitikia neno la mungu, please, Take a step of faith. Pick from where you felt. And let us proceed. Pwende mbele. Buwana sifiwe.